I love working with enums in Swift. While that may sound odd, I feel enums are undervalued and developers miss out on some of their nicer applications, especially when combined with associated values. The networking layer we build in building a modern networking layer in Swift relies heavily on enums and associated values. In this episode, I would like to show you another neat application of enums and how they can help you create flexible, elegant APIs that are a pleasure to use. In From Zero to App Store, I show you how to use the builder pattern to generate a Cloudinary URL from a source URL. Cloudinary is a service that manipulates and transforms media, including images. In From Zero to App Store, we use Cloudinary to size and convert images fetched from a remote server. Let me walk you through the implementation of the builder. We initialize a builder instance with a source URL. It is a source URL we send to Cloudinary. Cloudinary fetches the image the source URL points to and applies the transformations you define. The Cloudinary URL builder class exposes a number of methods to define which transformations need to be applied to the image the source URL points to. The width and height methods can be used to set the size of the image Cloudinary returns. This is useful to increase your application's performance. It shouldn't display images that are too large for the device your application runs on. A service like Cloudinary makes that a breeze. Because the width and height methods return the Cloudinary URL builder instance, we can take advantage of method chaining. Let me show you how this works. We create a Cloudinary URL builder instance, passing the source URL to the initializer. We invoke zero or more methods on the builder to configure it. To generate the Cloudinary URL, we invoke build on the Cloudinary URL builder instance. The build method returns the Cloudinary URL, which we can use in the application. Cloudinary handles the transformations. I like the builder pattern. The resulting API is clear and the builder pattern promotes immutability. I would like to show you how to use enums and associated values to create another API for the Cloudinary URL builder class. We start by defining a nested enum with name modifier. Each case of the modifier enum defines a transformation. We define three cases, width, height, and format. Because each transformation needs some type of input, each case has an associated value. The width and height cases have an associated value of type int. The format case has an associated value of type string. With the possible transformations defined by the modifier enum, we can put them to use. We define a build method that accepts an array of modifier objects. Like the other build method, it returns a URL object. We use the implementation of the other build method as a starting point. As the name suggests, the parameters variable stores the parameters we intend to send to Cloudinary. Each parameter corresponds with a transformation. We apply the map method to the array of modifiers, assigning the result to parameters. In the closure we pass to the map method, we switch on the modifier object. We return a string for each case, using the associated value to construct the parameter. The remainder of the implementation is similar to that of the other build method. Let's see how the APIs differ in use. We create a Cloudinary URL builder instance and invoke the build method. To define the transformations, we pass an array of modifier objects to the build method. That's it. We can improve the build method by using a variadic parameter. 
revisit the build method and change the type of the modifier's parameter from an array of modifier object to a variadic parameter. The three dots following the modifier type indicate the modifier's parameter is a variadic parameter. That's the only change we need to make to the build method. The call site also changes. We no longer need to pass an array of modifier objects to the build method. We can remove the square brackets of the array. Even though the change is subtle, it is a nice illustration of how variadic parameters can improve an API. There are a few more changes I would like to make. The associated values of the width and height cases are of type int. Let's change these to unsigned int to make sure negative values are flagged by the compiler. The compiler throws an error if you try to pass in a negative width or height. The associated value of the format case is of type string. That isn't a good idea. Let's define a nested enum format with raw values of type string. We define two cases, PNG and JPEG. We change the type of the associated value of the format case to format. This simple change avoids typos and stringly typed code. In the build method, we use the raw value of the format object to construct the parameter. With these changes, we eliminated the risk for common errors, such as negative values and typos. Enums have some limitations compared to structs and classes, but they are surprisingly versatile. The pattern we used in this episode illustrates how we can leverage enums and associated values to build an API that is clean, easy to use and trivial to extend. Even though the original implementation of the Cloudinary URL Builder class worked well, extending the builder is much easier using enums and associated values. To add support for a new transformation, we extend the modifier enum and update the build method. That's it.